Hey folks, Cooley here with another one of your emails about high-tech cars and modern driving. This one comes in from Kerleem S. He's in Orlando, Florida. He says, it seems like car audio systems keep getting better and better. But satellite radio still sounds like crap. HD radio and Bluetooth audio streaming sound much better, he says, in my 2016 Acura TLX, which is equipped with ELS audio. Are there any technological advancements to improve Sat Radio's audio quality? Simple answer, not really. But let's get into this a little bit, Kerleen, because we do get this complaint a lot, and you'll find this in forums all over the web. Satellite radio has kind of become a laggard in terms of audio quality compared to newer sources these days. First of all, satellite radio is kind of like MP3s. It is a thing where they sold us the digital deceit, and by that I mean they said, hey, it's digital quality, it's amazing. Same thing we got told about MP3s, same thing we got told about cellular networks when they went digital. It's better for them than it is for us. It allows a provider, a downloader, a streamer to put a lot more amount of content or simultaneous channels or calls into the space that used to occupy maybe one song or channel or call. It's great economics, but for our ears, it sounds fried, and that's what you're noticing. Compressed files being sent over a satellite with lots of transcoding along the way, throwing out lots of data. It's fatiguing to the ear. It tends to be thin, brassy, tinny. Doesn't sound very wet. Now beyond that digital crispiness, why do we love it so much? Sounds like a bum deal, right? Well, we're suckers for channels. You know, the 200 channel thing that's always been there since the Sirius XM merger, plus a whole bunch of other streaming channels, plus no one gets rid of broadcast radio, it's still there, plus you add Spotify and Pandora. We love to have more and more buckets of channels, and that's kind of an addictive drug. And the biggest thing that pushes satellite radio is car makers. About three quarters of new cars come with satellite radio now, typically with a trial period. But the big emphasis by Sirius XM lately has been to make sure that people are enticed to activate it in their used car. Because used cars are about twice as big a market as new cars. And people who buy a used car are about six times more likely to activate satellite radio after a free trial than those who buy new cars. So basically, Used cars are gold and there's a whole lot of them, so you see a lot of subs. They're somewhere in the 30 million overall subscriber level for satellite radio. Good, nowhere near as big as broadcast, of course. Okay, enough of the theory and why satellite radio is and sounds like it is and does. What can we do about your situation, Kerleem, and everybody else's? First of all, now you mentioned in another part of your email the Sirius XM 360L version of their service. This is the newest edition, but it's mostly aimed at better offline listening by caching some information, better presentation, better interactivity, voice command, but this isn't going to work for you. It's OEM installed and just available on a couple of vehicles so far. Now, beyond that, you can also think about having your audio system in your car upgraded. Because you've got a 16 Acura, very proprietary stuff, I'd probably have this done at a 12 volt shop and not take it on yourself. Look for an amp that has really good equalization, very powerful EQ or DSP as they call it. There's a whole bunch of amps in the market that do this. They're not going to put back what's missing in the sound, but they can hopefully accentuate the parts of it that do sound good and therefore take your ear off the part that is crispy and brittle and is driving you nuts. The third idea is also along those lines, but a different technique, a new category called AI audio. It's not really artificial intelligence, but it's a good marketing term. What it does is it listens to a digital signal coming in, and it tries to figure out what's missing here, and then synthesizes part of that and puts it back in, in real time, right before the sound goes to the amp and then to the speakers. Examples of this, we've covered them. Bamboo has one called Awesome. Bamboo is a startup working mostly with car makers right now. On the other hand, Harman has one called Clarify. And that is not only in some cars, but it's also coming out in at least some JBL aftermarket amplifiers you could have installed in your car. Again, I would use a 12 volt shop for this in a vehicle like yours. So there are some ideas. None of them are going to cure the true problem with satellite radio. And that is data is missing as it comes down from the bird. But at least you can try and mask that a little bit more or just avoid the bird, go through the app, crank up the quality and enjoy it that way. Keep those emails coming. I'm here to answer your questions about high-tech cars and modern driving. It's Cooley at theroadshow.com.